Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and for those of you that did not watch yesterday, Happy New Year to you all. And please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget. The Flyers clearly got their shooting ways going yesterday, um, but they did still did not get their scoring ways uh, going whatsoever as... Uh, just like they lost 3-2 to Seattle, or excuse me, um, 1-3-2 somehow to Seattle due to the Dasuki and Deke by Ivan Provorov and lost 3-2 to San Jose due to just piss poor play in front of their goaltender on their debut and also just not being able to block out the net front on Tomas Hurdle there as nobody again could play net front defense. The other play was Keith Yandel's fault in my opinion. And could he maybe like some people said on Facebook, I think that guy's overanalyzing, but could they have made a little bit of a better play on the Burns goal? Maybe, but Brett Burns is going to pick his spot eight out of 10 times, no matter who the goalie is, because he used to be a forward and is one of the best wrist shotting defensemen. But back on to last night, Against the LA Kings. <clears throat> the LA Kings are not one of the good first period teams. Actually, one of the worst in hockey at scoring. Well, nobody told the Flyers that because Victor Arvinson started the scoring 12 seconds in. Joel Fairby was able to answer one of the best Flyers since Mike Yo took over and one of the good Flyers still in the return in this piss poor play of three games in the return, but then Trevor Moore was able to score to get it back going, and then Kempe was able to rip one pass, and then Brendan Lemieux looked like Mario Lemieux on Kevin Kanaden, as he just couldn't stop him going into the zone, and was able to score. Unfortunately, what I loved about Mike Yo in this game was that play. If the Flyers came back to win this game, the play of the game would have been pulling the goalie and letting Kevin Hayes score that power play goal on the absolute rip when he came in from pulling the goalie early in the third period. That's a very, very, very aggressive play, but a play that I really liked that he did and was smart, in my opinion, because you have to show the team you're still with them, you're still behind them, even though, again, they're not playing their best squeakiest clean game. And then Ivan Provorov, who I thought was horrendous, um, Jamie Baskin, when he says somebody's bad, that's when you know they've been bad, uh, was bad in the first period, still wasn't that squeaky clean in the <clears throat> second period, ended up scoring one of the goals in the third period, so it's amazing how that works, and then that's how the Flyers were able to get to their third goal, and then they never got anything else from there, as Victor Orvinson was able to get a backhanded empty net goal later in the game. And the three stars of the game were Arvinson Deneau and Trevor Moore, according to NHL. Um, because he made a couple key saves, and this might have been able to be a 6-4, a closer game at the end, um, which would have put a lot more pressure on the Kings. The Flyers put more pressure on the Kings later. I feel like instead of maybe giving it to, even though I thought Trevor Moore had a very good game, I might have to throw Jonathan Quick in there too, because he did have a couple difference-making saves. This could have been a one- or two-goal game that would have then continued to put more pressure on the Kings um, a lot sooner, rather than when it became the two-goal game, and then Arvinson made it a three-goal game again with his empty net goal. That might have happened sooner if Quick did not make a couple of those um, very athletic kick-out pad saves and very good glove and blocker saves as well. well. That's just something to point out. I might swap those two. But for the Flyers, <clears throat> this wasn't the squeakiest clean of games for Martin Jones. He probably could have done a little bit better um, on the... Uh, on the uh, Brandon Lemieux goal there on the breakaways, it kind of squeaked through, and maybe a little bit um, from uh, cutting down angles, but the Flyers just didn't play well in front of the goalie. Again, they played putrid behind the net. Ivan Provorov and Bronze Line got caught twice in the beginning of the game. That was the uh, difference maker of the game, having two goals um, just start with getting caught behind your net and playing putrid defense. That's a difference maker. That's a momentum blower early. Um, another difference maker of this game was letting the team that scored two, that's the worst scoring team, the first, scored the first, the next two goals, actually, the only two of the second. That's David. <coughs> Excuse me. And then third and last, the last difference making thing of this game was just the inability to score. You might have got the shots going, but you still weren't able to beat Jonathan quick enough, and that's the difference in this game. Uh, you, you got to be able to, Quick's been great this year, but the problem with the Flyers is they haven't played the greatest hockey in front of the goaltenders. They still made great mistakes um, in this game as well, but they did get the shots on going, but shots are only so good. It's good to see the shots get on going because that's something to move in the right direction to then play Anaheim and hope you're able to get 
maybe from three to four goals, or still consistently get three goals, but look like you have a better push on both ends rather than just kind of getting it going in the third period type of deal, like you had some good signs in the, in the Kings game. But this has just been a quick um, takeaways from that LA King versus Philadelphia Flyers game. Yes, they got the shots going, but they still played putrid in front of the goaltender. The differences were the behind the net plays in the first, and the other differences were allowing them to get the next two goals in the second period, and then also just not being able to score again, inability to score. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day and pleasure day. Continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the content.